If you are into night vision, you've probably seen lights and strobes on different helmet setups. There's many applications where these can be used, like law enforcement, military, search and rescue, canine operations, and a lot more. But more than just LE and military, there are civilian uses for them as well. Today, we are checking out the Hellstar 6 by Core Survival. As a full disclosure, Core Survival did send this unit out for this review. I want to be transparent with you guys on how I get stuff for the channel. So with that being said, this video will still be 100% unbiased and no BS. Let's dive in. The Hellstar 6 is a four function helmet mounted visible and IR marker with different selectable options based on your needs. They are available with either a black or a tan body and have an MSRP of around $200. It's powered by one CR123 battery and can be easily changed in the field. When it comes to light color options, they are available in green, blue, red, white, IR, shortwave IR, and even a Morse code function. The IR on this thing is extremely bright, and this isn't even the most powerful model that Core Survival offers. In their highest power IR mode, it can be seen from over 30,000 feet for airborne operations. What's cool is you can have these programmed to whatever you need. Mine has a steady green, steady green with a white flash, dim IR flash, and a high IR flash. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Due to the curvature of the unit when mounted to a helmet, it gives you an omnidirectional view, so it can be seen in every direction. I know there are a few strobes out there that are a little more on the covert side and are primarily aimed down on the back of the helmet, but I like that this can be seen from a 360 degree field of view. When it comes to the build quality, it is quite impressive. The switches have a very tactile feel and won't change on you unless you deliberately change them yourself. Even with gloves on, you shouldn't have an issue running through the different settings. The Hellstar 6 has integrated tie down points on the side of the body, so you can secure it with more than just a Velcro that's on the bottom side of the unit. Velcro is great for mounting stuff on your helmet, but it's not foolproof. I'm running a TNVC Mohawk on my helmet, which has a built in retention system, and it really snugs down on the Hellstar. Even in the worst situation, I don't see this thing coming off. If you are in a situation and are worried about the light snagging on something, as long as it's not tied down to your helmet, it's easy to rip it off if need be. With the rounded design, the chances of this light snagging on anything are very minimal. Let's talk about the different operation modes. The switch on the front of the unit is for switching between visible light and your IR setting. The switch on the back is for running through your different modes of either visible or IR. It's a pretty dummy proof design and I like the fact that the IR modes are on their own. For someone that is using this in the field in a covert setting, they don't have to worry about accidentally running through their visible light modes while under night vision, you know, and potentially giving away their location. There's no guesswork when it comes to knowing if your light is on or off. When it comes to visible light, it can be used for marking different teams, using on the range for safety reasons, or the steady green can even be used to replace chem lights. If you're in an indoor setting, the visible light is bright enough for providing a little bit of umbrella lighting if need be. For the IR settings, I have a dim IR flash and a high IR flash. The dim IR setting is clearly visible in close quarters and lets people on your team know your location. In the dim setting, you don't have to worry about blinding or whiting out other people under night vision that are close to you. Now the high IR setting is impressive. As I said before, this isn't even the most powerful IR option that Core Survival offers. I want to cover some non-LE military uses for the Hellstar 6. I can see this being very useful for outdoor enthusiasts, people that like to go hiking, kayaking, skiing, and even weirdos like me and my wife that like to take walks at night. Here's a scenario. You are by yourself taking a hike in the mountains or the woods and you fall and break your leg. Hopefully you have some form of communication to call for help, but in a widespread area it's going to be very hard for a rescue team to pinpoint you. Having a bright strobe function can easily let an aerial team know your location. Kayakers out on the water or some heavy rapids and your kayak tips, who knows how far that current is going to take you. Again, having something like this could easily let a rescue team know where you are and potentially save your life. The Hellstar 6 is vibration resistant, dust proof, and open sea waterproof up to 130. The uses for this thing are endless, and I wanted to make it clear that this is not just for military or LE. I use this on the range with my friends when we shoot under night vision. 
It's added safety and it lets you know where your buddies are. Even for range sessions when the sun is going down but it's not quite dark enough for night vision, having that visible light really comes in handy. Let's cover my final thoughts about the Hellstar 6. For the $200 price point, I think it should be an essential piece of kit. Coming in at just under 3 ounces, you're not adding a ton of weight to your setup. For my outdoor enthusiasts, I'm looking at you too. I think people look past a visible light and IR strobe and don't realize the potential that these things possess. I don't have much experience with others on the market, like the Manta strobe, so I can't make a fair comparison. But with the experience that I do have with this unit, I'm going to recommend it if you are in the market for one. Yeah, you can get a little marker like this Unity Spark for around 20 bucks, but the capabilities are very limited and the build quality doesn't even compare. You may not need something with so many features like the Hellstar, and if you don't, then it makes sense to save the money and get something like the Spark. It's a great little marker for what it is, but if you need something feature rich with that great build quality, this should be at the top of your list. Make sure you head over to Core Survival's website and check out all of their offerings. Big shout out to those guys for sending this out for the review. I hope you guys are able to take something away from this video or simply enjoy the show. As always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.